Hey there, what's up? Uh, today I want to show you a cool effect that you can create using just blend modes and layer masks in Photoshop. And the effect is quite simple, but uh, it's quite impressive. So what I want to show you is how you can wrap this woman's uh, clothing into the background seamlessly. And this would be the end result, okay? So you can see the effect is quite nice. So as I said, we will only use blend modes and layer masks. So uh, I hope you will like it and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is create a new document for this um, tutorial. I will just use the uh, 1080p <laughs> format, okay? Uh, it will work for this uh, tutorial. And the next thing we want to do is create our background. I use the pattern for that because um, that way you, you can use a huge canvas and with a seamless pattern you can fill the entire canvas no matter how big it is. So I downloaded a pattern. Let me show you how you can actually create that. Uh, I bought this images from Deposit Photos but uh, I'll give a small resolution size of this image. So uh, what you do is open this uh, pattern in Photoshop or whatever pattern you have. If you want to use another one, just uh, go ahead. And you can convert these images into patterns uh, by simply going to edit and choose define pattern. Okay, I will not do it because I have it uh, already saved. But what I would do though is make it about 600 pixels. Uh, okay or about 1000 pixels, not, not bigger than that. Okay, I will not save that. And once you have it, go back to your canvas that you just created, go down here on the layers palette and choose, uh, click this um, adjustment layer icon. And from this list here, choose pattern. And you can see I have another pattern here. Well, actually I downloaded a few ones from the internet. Uh, this one is not seamless, so I cannot be used. This one looks nice. Uh, but for this tutorial, I will use this one. So this is the pattern that I will use and you can see it's seamless so you can increase the size of your canvas as much as you want. It will always fill it. Okay, and you will not lose quality. So this will be our background here. The next thing we want to do is open our model. So let's go back to our stock photo uh, folder. You'll have this image on, on, the, on my website if you want to download it, but it's a bit smaller, um, the resolution. Unless, unless you're a premium member, you, you'll be able to download the full resolution and the PSD file. And also this uh, video if you want to download it to your computer. Uh, so what we want to do here, the reason why I chose this photo is for several reasons. One, because the background is white, so that helps me to remove the background without um, spending too much time on it, because I don't want to spend time uh, doing that. And also because of this dress. This kind of uh, of clothing works a lot uh, a lot better because we have no texture here, and we have this folds and shadows and highlights. So try to find this kind of of uh, dresses, or if you have a uh, another model, try to have uh, a photo um, where you have the clothing that has a lot of folds and uh, things like that. It will work a lot better. So. What we want to do now is extract this from the background. I'll use the magic wand tool. It's a lot quicker. Okay, and this other point right here. Now, uh, the magic wand does not uh, do a magic job, so you'll have to refine the edge. But first, let's invert the selection by pressing Control and Shift and I. And um, now I'll go to Refine Edge. The selection was not inverted okay and what I want to do here is I want to shift the edge a bit increase the feather increase the smoothing a bit as well and just increase the contrast now to sharpen these edges let's take a look at how it looks it looks nice maybe too much smoothing and maybe less shifting and a bit more contrast. Okay, from the output I'll choose layer mask and click OK. And now I have my woman masked. I will not care about the hair, I will not use it on this tutorial, I will leave the original size and the hair will not 
beyond the canvas. If you want to mask the hair, I already have tutorials showing you how to remove white background and keep the hair. But uh, for this tutorial, we're not going to do that. So I will just copy this image. I will move it with the move tool on my canvas right here. And I'll put it about there so that I hide this white part of the hair. Okay, so uh, we're now ready to start working on our effect. First, I want to apply this layer mask because I like how it looks. It's smooth, everything, it looks nice. And I want to accept the changes that the layer mask uh, makes to my image. The next thing I want to do is rename this. I will name this uh, dress, create a duplicate by pressing Control Command J. And I'll name this woman. Next, I want to create layer masks for both of them. And I'll start with the dress, actually. Maybe we'll have to change uh, to put this one on top, but uh, first let's mask them. Uh, another reason why I chose the image of this woman is because the dress is a single color, which helps me to mask it a lot easier. I'll press, I'll control click on the thumbnail of the layer mask and go to select and choose refine edge, um, color range, sorry. And here, let's choose this to none. With this eyedropper, I'll click here on the dress to select the reds and then press and hold the shift key. And I'll click here around, uh, let me change the selection preview to grayscale so you can see it. Now I'll click wherever I see these black points, these black areas, to add those areas to my selection. Uh, I don't care too much about the edge here. I already have it masked, that edge. I just want to have this top edge well selected and here around her arm, okay? I don't care too much about this uh, middle um, areas. I will mask those uh, with the brush key, uh, with the brush uh, with the brush tool, okay? So I have my selection ready. I'll, let's see what we can do with the fuzziness. I don't want to fuzz it too much. <laughs> okay, I'll click OK now. And I have my selection ready. Um, let me deactivate the top layer so you can see what I've done. Okay, so I have separated the dress. And what I want to do now is activate the this layer mask on the full screen on the canvas so I can see it better by pressing, by pressing Alt and clicking on the layer. And now I can get the brush tool and with this hard brush, I'll paint oops, with white. Okay, like so, and paint like that. Just make sure I get rid of this uh, edge here. I also paint here to cover that. I will paint here as well, there, and here as well. If your image has uh, like here, for example, you can see this edge here is not really that well defined. Instead of going carefully like that, you can see even that uh, makes you uh, go over the edge. What you can do is change the blend mode of the brush itself to m overlay. And now you can paint safely without going over the edge. And that's a cool trick that you can use when working with masks. See that? And here as well, we have this edge here which we don't like and right there as well okay uh, I think we're pretty much done we need to work a little more here on the hand I think uh, let's deactivate the full screen preview and yeah one other thing that I want to do is make sure I have this on well actually let's not touch it this part over here we don't want to touch that that's the part of the arm, okay? Um, I think we're pretty much done. Uh, let's decrease the density of the layer mask so we can take a look at it. We lost some detail over here. So, but I, anyways, I think I will mask this away entirely. Uh, let's leave it like it is right now. We'll see it after. And now I will reactivate the woman layer. I want to have the dress and her body separated. So I will use the same layer mask and drag it 
up I'll replace that the way you do it is press and hold the alt key click on it and drag it on the other layer it will ask you if you want to replace it you can say yes and I'll have to invert it so I'll press control command I okay so now I have this top layer just the body of the woman okay and this part here it's a bit too sharp but uh, well uh, let's leave it how it is actually let's see if I can refine it just a little bit just increase the feather slightly and increase the contrast a bit if you do this on one of the layer masks oh that's too soft let's do it again yeah, let's zoom it 100% so we can see it better or even more okay feather great if you make a change like I did now on this layer mask you'll have to copy that on the other layer and invert it because otherwise you'll have uh, you will see the difference okay you'll see the difference uh, one pixels of uh, pixel of difference and you'll you'll see it you'll notice that okay I'll probably yeah mask this part make sure you change the blend mode of the brush back to to normal okay and we'll remove this other pixel from here this line we don't want it okay so we have the dress and the woman's body separated see this pixel that I would that I was talking about and uh, that doesn't look nice let's try and move the image no don't try to move it because you'll, cause you'll make it worse uh, just don't <laughs> just don't um, mess with the masks once you create them okay otherwise you'll see this line here that's not nice okay uh, what I could probably do is select it and then extend the right click and choose uh, no go to select Modify and choose expand and choose about a couple of pixels. Yeah, that's too much. One pixel. Filter. Select. Modify. Expand. One pixel. Click OK. And now let's fill this with white. OK. And that line is gone. OK. Now we are ready to make our effect. But first we need to turn this black, this dress into black and white. So I'll select the dress layer create the hue saturation adjustment I'll clip it to the dress layer by pressing and holding the alt key put the mouse between the two layers and click or just simply right click on the layer and choose create clipping mask and now I'll decrease the saturation to minus 100 this will make my dress black and white and now I'll add a levels layer which we will use a bit later also clipped to the dress layer and next I will duplicate the pattern layer that I had that I created for the background um, this one okay and I'll drag it on top of everything well on top of the on top of the dress I'll clip it just in case uh, if you have the dress on top of the woman layer you'll, you'll you're forced to clip it otherwise you will uh, hide the woman layer okay and now you have to try blend modes uh, for this particular image the overlay blend mode works well but you can also try soft light or you can also try multiply or hard light it depends a bit on what the image that you have um, well how it looks and how the textures on the dress are but for this image the overlay blend mode works okay so I used this one and but you can see it's not working 100% and we have this white spot here the white spot is from this area here you can see it's this dress is semi transparent uh, semi transparent and we can see the woman's leg through it so i fixed that by creating a new layer between the dress and the hue saturation and i get the brush tool set the flow and opacity to 50 percent make sure the blend mode is the mode here is set to normal and then i sample with the, with the eyedropper tool Let's use a soft brush and just paint like that to darken those areas like so and if you want to recreate the shadows just uh, 
sample a darker tone and then something a bit brighter like that and just do something like this and now it looks a lot better okay i'll reactivate the pattern and now you can see it looks a bit better than without this see that but we still have this area here which is not looking that nice and for that i created i used the dress layer mask select the brush tool switch to black okay and just mask the edge here uh, i'm using an opacity of 50 percent but i should probably increase that just a bit and use a bit of a bigger brush like so and just um mask the edge itself just the edge just that highlight there that uh, makes it look weird and that way we have a more seamless um, transition but we're still not done yet because we can still see some highlights there that's why i created this levels adjustment layer because with this i can change the contrast here the shadows and everything so i can make this highlights a bit darker um, okay i'll leave this how it was just make those highlights a little darker and maybe the shadows slightly darker as well it's just um, a matter of finding the sweet spot finding the balance between highlights and shadows and you can see how now this uh, looks a lot better okay um, of course we still have this part here which we should mask using the woman layer mask and using a 100 percent brush using this brush and paint with black to kind of remove that because it's not looking that good okay and we should also remove this color cast but um this tutorial is not about that. I just wanted to show you how to create this effect. I would probably even mask this part out, as I said. Just leave her hand there. Let's use a smaller brush. Just click here, press and hold the shift key and click here to remove this area. That line there. Okay, but we still see the highlights uh, which are from the other layer. Okay, so I'll select the other layer, the dress layer. I'll select the layer mask and paint with black to remove this. And I'll soften the brush just to blend that shadow a little better. And that's it. That's how I got this effect. I also created a shadow here just to make it look less flat okay so i use this soft brush and just um, a couple of uh, clicks there and then use the eraser tool to oops use a soft brush and just get rid of the shadow from over here from that side and probably stretch this out on the well like so Okay, so that's the effect. That's how I got this blending effect using layer masks. I hope uh, you found this tutorial useful. Um, you can uh, leave a comment on my website or just here on YouTube if you liked it. Feel free to share it and uh, um, that's pretty much all I can say. Uh, I hope you liked it and see you on the next tutorial.